Sarah, welcome to my group. Come on in. This is where we are staying in Bristol. This is an Airbnb apartment we found um, in Montpellier, the artist's quarter of Bristol. And we are on Picton Street. And this part, apartment is called the Old Jail. So it did used to be part of an actual jail. It's a listed building. And you can see we've still got like the original thick wooden door with an enormous key. Welcome to our crib for the next two nights. And we're right opposite. Opposite a vegan burger place. It's just like the best thing ever. It is after all why we're here. It's Bristol is supposedly the vegan capital of the UK. Or something. Or well, something like that. Well, we'll see. So. We'll show you all of the yummy food we're eating and all the places we're going. And uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. So, this is the bathroom. Got a duck. <laughs> I've got a duck everywhere, that's the problem. Oh my god, they've even got like the wooden doors and the bathroom. It's like all the original doors and the keys and stuff are massive. Oh, that's a nice shelf. Yeah. Come back out. This is the kitchen. Got some nice period features. Including a nice period microwave. <laughs> Sitting, living area space. There's a, um, a little back garden, not far out of the team, for someone else's. That's cute. Got like a table and stuff up there. Mm -hmm. Go outside, shall we see? And then the sleeping area. Oh, here we go. Bed test. Right, it's hang on. Be, it's got to be done. Right, ready? Oh, I was going to count you in. Oh well. <laughs> all told of three minutes and we've already found somewhere selling vegan donuts. Here we go, so. Am I having the first bite? Taste yeah? test on the chocolate orange donut. Oh my god. Oh, it smells bad. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's have a look at that bad boy. Oh, it looks really nice and fluffy. Mmm, yeah, very light. Oh, it's not focusing. There we go. Yeah. Mm. Right. Yeah, very light and fluffy. My turn, my turn. Come on then. <laughs> mm, it's good. It's a good donut. They had lots of flavours there. They didn't have all the ones that were on the menu. Hair in my face, but yeah. We wanted to try the uh, white chocolate and Bailey's one, but they didn't have any left. Now, now, first, Banksy. Mm -hmm. Oh hi! Oh hi! <laughs> Oh, time for a bit. Ready? Cheers! <laughs> Thanks you number two. Take the money and run and get the beers in. And here is Dan. Oh, eating it again? No, I've got that one, I've got you. Okay, where have we just been? We have been to Ooey. Ooey, across the road. Get dinner. Right, let's get this bad boy open. Oh, what is that? Uh, oh, is that the, uh, the dip? Oh, it might be, yeah. Okay. Was that telling it? Deliciously vegan. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah, that's the little... Uh, the mayo. Spicy mayo dip. Excellent. So we've got a burger each and we're sharing some of their fries. Marmite fries. <laughs> oh my god, smell them. Oh yeah. Oh that's, wow. That's Marmite cheek on this. Oh my god. 
<laughs> Tomorrow my chips. Junior. Junior. Unwrap my sneaky clucker. Oh yes, look at that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to scrape up all the cheese. Oh yeah. Oh, that looks, like, oh, that looks like a thing of beauty. Oh my god. So Dan has, oh my god. <laughs> so Dan has gone for the Chief, which has got a Beyond Meat patty, as well as crispy chicken in it. Whereas mine is just a crispy chicken burger. Wow. Oh my god, look at it. <laughs> <gasps> wow, we are in for a treat. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It looks messy. It's really good. It's dripping out the bottom. Yeah. I'm mm. gonna have to take my rings off, I think. That sauce is really good. Mom might fries. Genius. Oh wow. This looks even messier than your one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, that burger smells good. Can I try a bit of mine? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so heavy. It's very messy, yeah. Let, let me put the. <laughs> oh my god! It's all coming out the bottom. Um. Oh yeah, there's the Beyond Burger, okay. Ooh, have a little nibble. Yeah, it's two burgers in one, this one, which is why I went for it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> really good. They know how to make a burger. Clean plates all around. And full bellies. <laughs> 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 so we're at um, a pub called the Cadbury, just up the road from where we're staying. Nice outside, all the lights. Pretty quiet. We're having an excellent gin. Good morning, welcome to fairly sunny Bristol for our second day. So, um, we're going for breakfast this morning. What's the place we're going to? Cafe Kino. Cafe Kino. A vegan cooperative cafe. Mm. We have made a packed lunch today just to save money. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, a little oh, bit. Oh, I really like the house. I love the disco ball. Everywhere you look, the street up. Let's put, a, let's put a dampener on our plans. It is closed. We need to find somewhere else to go. So, what do we do now? <laughs> That's a shame. So, plan B, we found this place called The Social, and they do breakfasts. So, it wasn't part of the plan, but that's but, all right. But came up with an alternative and I didn't freak out. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so they've got a vegan breakfast, like a full vegan breakfast. Sausages, guac, mushrooms, tomato, potatoes, spinach, baked beans and toast, that sounds quite nice. And they do like a lighter version. And then they do some, they do a sausage, vegan sausage sandwich. They do a vegan breakfast bap. Oh, that might be a bit, bit more like we were gonna have today. Yeah. Sausage, mushroom, hash brown, spinach and guac. That sounds quite tempting actually. <laughs> it's cute, we've kind of got the whole outdoor area to ourselves at the moment, considering it's just gone 10. <laughs> this is really nice. Instagram in your coffee. Well, I'm trying to, but I'm getting <laughs> the shadow of me in the picture. Oh well, damn you, son, <laughs> curse you. <laughs> so I went for the vegan light breakfast. Laura has gone for the vegan Bricky bat. bat. Uh, hash brown! <laughs> hash brown. So yours has got a mushroom. Uh, black bean sausage, guac, hash brown and spinach. Uh, so mine's got these two little potato things. It's also got the sausage and the guac, uh, but it's got beans. Beans and bread. How am I going to eat this as a bat?
look, there's another bit of street art down there that we haven't seen as well. Oh no, it's the birds! Back to you too. <laughs> what a duck guy. <laughs> okay, so we are now in St Nicholas Markets. So there's an indoor shopping hall, so let's go and have a look. Just art everywhere in this city. Love it. So we have been doing lots of walking this morning and we've seen loads of street art. Been into St Nicholas Markets where we saw lots of really cool shops including like a chili shop that would be a dream for a couple of our friends. And now we're heading to Castle Park to go and have some of the lunch. So once again we're stopping for a beer. Took a little detour before we go and have lunch. And we are in uh, the left so we're sitting by the river at Castle Park Found a nice spot in the shade, lots of people here. We packed our lunch. We have uh, French bread. That we bought yesterday from a local bakery. Which is probably a little bit stale now, but it's okay. Mm. And uh, yeah, we got some vegan cheese. And what else do you put in this? Uh, hummus, uh, smoked gouda, tomato, salad. Mm. And we've got the best crisp in the world. These are really nice. Jalapeno and dill. So this is another ui, it's another branch, this is a bigger branch, it's actually a dine-in restaurant uh, but we've come here because they do, they do shakes. So I'm very excited to try a vegan shake from ui. I've got a Biscoff shake and you've got hot 
good. So we're going to try a little bit of each other, I think. Oh, it's so thick, I can't even get it to Mmm. That's good. I'm going to go by yours. That is really thick. Oh, take that popcorn. Mm-hmm. Thumbs up. So we are standing on a reconstruction of the Matthew, which is the ship that John Cabot sailed the Atlantic to discover North America in. In what year? 1497. Okay, well done. <laughs> okay, so this is the SS Great Britain. Yeah. Uh, we're not allowed to get any clothes there without paying, sorry. <laughs> it's big. Found another Banksy. <laughs> so this one's called the girl with the pierced eardrum. As you can see, she's got a uh, an alarm for an earring. So there we go. That's quite clever. <laughs> well done, Banksy. Good job. <laughs> So we had a nice little lie down when we got back because we were tired and a little snack uh, and, a COVID test. and a COVID test such as the times um, but now we're going out for dinner we're going to a place called Kucha which is a meze bar and it is, is it an entirely vegan restaurant? Yes, yes, 100% vegan 100% vegan restaurant and it's just about a 10 minute walk away so we're going to go there now even restaurants have street art on them. Like all the places we've been to now, there's no physical menu, you have to scan a code and uh, look it up on your phone. So, what are you having? <laughs> so we ordered some meze to have as starters. Just a couple of little dishes. And then some mains, and we've got cocktails coming as well. So they've got that apple crumble, and you've got a strawberry straw bizzle. Straw bizzle. Straw bizzle. Straw bizzle. Yeah, straw bizzle, like Bristol. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Right. Well, cheers. Cinnamon. <laughs> The veggie fritters, I think they were. Mm -hmm. You all got uh, vegan, vegan fish cakes with Iranian stew. Mm. I've got I've got three veggie balls, so I could cut one of them in half. Yeah, that's And we're gonna have one and a half each. Yeah. I like to get different things and share. It's what we do. I've got stuffed aubergines. Uh, we've got some chips to share. And then you've got uh, saffron and tahini kebabs. Saffron and tahini kebabs on a bit of rice. Oh man, that meal was so good. That stuffed aubergine. I don't know what they flavoured it with. Magic, probably. <laughs> it was, Magic. Yeah, it was witchcraft. It was flavoured with witchcraft. <laughs> and, you know, tomato or something. Okay, just walk off, walk, walk off, dinner, lick a bit. Walk it off. <laughs> morning! Morning! It's our last day here in the apartment. We're checking out this morning. Uh, we've enjoyed it very much here, it's very comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, 
and we've got a few things to do before we go today. Uh, we're going to try and get on a boat, ferry boat ride um, along the harbour in Bristol and I've got to go and buy a bottle of gin, very important. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to come and get the car and then we're going to go to Clifton to go and see the suspension bridge um, and see what there is to do there before we drive back home. Yeah, we'll be back home by the evening. So we haven't decided yet what we're going to eat later. Eat Just depends here. what time we're still here, if we're here for an yeah. early dinner before we drive. Drive home, but we're in no rush to get back to Essex. We'll Oops, just make the not. most of the day. <laughs> right, so say goodbye to this lovely place now. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Thanks to our host. Thanks. <laughs> and let's go. Oh no. <laughs> the boat is full. Oh well, enjoy your boat ride. <laughs> we are just by Bristol Cathedral after our. Uh, Slight detour away from the ferry boat, <laughs> which is a shame, but we'll try again a bit later. We're not going to stand around for ages waiting. As you can see, this is another, another glorious day here in Bristol. Blue skies. Here we are at another Banksy. This is Well Hung Lover on Frogmore Street. As you can see, when Banksy painted this, he was directly opposite the council offices. Nice one. Mr. Cary Grant, one of my favourite actors, born here as Archibald Leach. Not very Hollywood name, so we uh, had to change it. <laughs> Do you want a more suave name, Dan? Sorry. <laughs> Do you fancy a more suave name? A more suave name. What would be a more suave name? I don't know. <laughs> Jerry Suave. Jerry. <laughs> So we abandoned our plans to go and get on the ferry boat because it was too busy. So we have come back to St Nicholas Markets and we are having some authentic Caribbean food for lunch. Yes. So this is all of their vegan things. So we've got jerk strips, we've got looks like some curry, all the things. What I like about these um, little street food places is that they will basically just fill up a box. You get a lot of variety. I've got some. Chickpea. It's a chick like a chickpea curry, yeah. a jackfruit curry, a potato curry, jerk seitan, and some spinach. Yeah. Even a better price. It's nice. Rice and peas. Have some ginger beer and some Jamaican food, and then I'm going to go and buy some gin. We haven't been on a ferry boat, we did buy some gin, thank god, and we're just having one final beer in Bristol before we head back and get our car and drive to Clifton to go to the suspension bridge, so yeah, we're back home. Couldn't decide where to go for a drink, so we've just come back to Brewdog. <laughs> so. I'm faithful. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, so we are back in the car now, we've had lunch, went and bought gin, and I just went and bought some fudge from a pop-up shop that I found on the way back. Yay, fudge! <laughs> on the way back. And we're going to drive now to Clifton to go and see the suspension bridge um, and do some other things. So, 
when I get out, do I have to say cheers, drive? Yes. Because that is the local, uh, the local way to thank the bus driver. Apparently. Ooh, going past Kucha that we ate last night. Woo! <laughs> made it to Clifton. It's very picturesque around here. The sun is still shining. Uh, we're going to go and see the suspension bridge and the observatory. Cheers, drive. These scooters are literally everywhere. Just walked up a massive hill. Hills, are, man, hill. We are so unfit. Yep. It's about the food we've been eating. So here we are, we have made it to the Clifton Suspension Bridge. Social distancing. Walking one way, so we're gonna go over one way and back the other. So the uh, the fare for uh, cars to cross over is a pound. I don't think you can use the Bristol pounds here, though. Oh, can you not? No, not like the, not like you can can in uh, in the city centre. Hopefully, we'll get some nice views over the River Avon. Oh, look at the countryside. Beautiful. So we've walked one way across the bridge. Now we're, we're going to go back the other way. <laughs> it's not more dramatic than this one. Oh yeah, just a bit. And just up there is the observatory. We're going to go shortly. There we go. This bridge was designed by Isambard Kingdom Brunel. Another uphill climb. Oh, up to the observatory. We can do it. Ah, oh. let's try again. Not this way. We made it. Oh, man, I need some water. Thirsty. Yep. Yep. Thirsty work. to two giants whose names I'll have to look up again. Yeah, supposedly this is a giant's cave but it feels like more of a dwarf's. <laughs> Ooh, looks like we made it. Wow, got a little bit claustrophobic in the uh, steeping parts there. Ooh. Got some lovely, lovely views. We escaped the cave. Yep. And you didn't knock yourself out. Almost. Now we are going to walk into Clifton proper and go and check out the shops and maybe get a snack. Yeah. See what's around. Cake. Toffee and pecan. And we've got some ice creams coming as well. Yep, vegan whippy ice creams. This place, to try. This place is amazing. <laughs> this is the East Village Cafe. It's just it's dripping all over the place. That's really good. Woo this is apparently called the Birdcage Walk. And we have no idea why. 
always, so it's part of a cemetery, so you can see there's all graves. Yeah. And then there's all this kind of archway. Like, there's a squirrel. The, oh, oh, there is a squirrel. <laughs> it's like, you have nuts? You don't have nuts. I'm going away now. I think that is it. Are we going to maybe get ready to go home now? Maybe. So, um, I think we've seen everything that we'd planned to. Probably going to drive home. It's like a three hour drive to get home. So thank you for, thank you for watching our video. Uh, what happened, Dan? Uh, what happened was that you're a bad influence and made us, by force, come to Perezza for pizza. I just couldn't face the thought of dinner at Burger King or something. I felt bad for about 30 seconds. Yeah. So <laughs> here we are. <laughs> Last meal of the holiday. Oh, this is the one that Dan's gonna go for. The Sea Spiracy pizza. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Yeah. I might not finish mine. Might have to take it on the road. I had a margarita with spicy and duya sausage. It's very, very good. Now it's really time to go. <laughs> now it's really time to go. <laughs> um, we finished in Piretta. I couldn't eat all of my pizza. I ate three quarters. Yeah, so, I, I ate all of mine, even though I wasn't. And you were the one who was like, oh, I don't think I can eat dinner yet. Yeah. Oh man, I'm really sunburned. Or is that just shadow? I can't tell. Maybe a bit of both? Yeah, maybe. Might be sunburned from yesterday. Yeah. But yeah, it's really home time now. Yes. I've got some pizza in the back that I might have when we stop at the services but we've got about a three hour journey ahead of us now but we've had a really good time. Yes, Bristol, we have enjoyed you. <laughs> Immensely. It's been great. <laughs> great food, great sights, great company. And there's time to go home. Alright, thanks for watching our video. Bye for Bye. now.